Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So this is the revolver lever from Zeta. Uh, you can get these at crsonly.com. They sent this over to me to review. I'm not getting paid a thing for this, but I do appreciate it. Justin's a super cool guy over there. He can hook you up with parts if you need to buy parts. He has everything from Africa Twin Parts to CRF Dirt Bikes to CRF 300L, CRF 250L, and all the above. So let's take this thing out of the package, check it out how it's made, and put it on here. This will be a super easy install because it's just a 10 millimeter wrench. That's all you got to have, a little bit of Loctite, and you're good to go. Okay, so here is the revolver shift lever from Zeta. Very cool, nice aluminum. Uh, it's anodized red here on the end. This is the pivot part. And then, of course, on this one, I said we just need a 10 millimeter, but this is an 8 millimeter. A 10 millimeter will take off the stock one. This does fit the CRF 250L and Rally. It also fits the CRF 300L and Rally. And very simple to install. So, this pivot part works pretty cool because what it does is you loosen this Allen bolt. I've already actually broke it loose with my. Allen wrench, back it out. You don't have to take it completely off. But what it does, if you can see here, there's a hex. And this has a hex inside also. And what it does, you can see here we have it, it's shorter toward the back. So if we turn this thing like this, it's going to go up higher, which gives you a little bit more toe room. And if we turn it this way, it actually would make this lever longer because our space here is different. And then if we go this way, it will lower the, the point of touch from your foot right there. So I am not sure where I want this at yet. So you definitely want to put Loctite on there to make sure that you don't lose this. If that bolt comes out, it's going to fall off. You're going to lose this piece and it'll kind of be worthless. So pretty much adjust it, set it where you want it. Then you can put Loctite on it. Make sure it's where you want it and then you're good to go. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put this thing on. Um... I'm going to scoot mine forward. I think that's where I'm going to want mine mostly. And then after I take it out for a ride, I'll actually adjust it where I want it. I'm just doing a short ride later. And if that's where I want it, I'll come back and I'll put some Loctite on this. And make sure it stays there. But super simple to install. You can see this is also spring-loaded. Very nice made compared to the factory, which is like a cheap stamped out tin. Uh, and then we have the bolt right here. So let's take the stock one off and stick this one on. Okay, so to remove this, it's going to be easier to go ahead and take this chain guard off to access the bolt and get it up out of the shift lever. So just an 8mm socket. We'll take that off. Be two bolts, one on top, one on bottom. That simple. Now we can remove this 10 millimeter bolt right here. And just a note, this stock shift lever has a dot on here. And then it also has a dot on the shaft to line it up in stock position. This lever will not have that, but it's pretty simple. If you just, you can see that this line is pretty much straight out a little bit down. If you put this back in the same position, you're going to be pretty close. A lot of people adjust them up and down anyway, because you can move it off of the spline. And set this in a higher or lower position depending on how you ride but we're going to put ours back in the stock position and stick it back on here so this lever here has the bolt in the bottom we'll be putting a little bit of loctite on this just to keep this from coming out and that should be the same position as the stock one you can see that i'm a little bit down from straight out Okay, and I want to add just a little bit of blue Loctite on this. Just so, uh, maybe a chance that it won't come out later. Hopefully not. You could look up the torque specs and actually torque this. But if you just be mindful, don't be crazy tightening. Run it down until it's nice and tight, snug, not too tight to snap the bolt off. You should be good to go. So now after I ride, I can take this, if it's too far forward, low, whatever, if I notice a difference, then I can actually adjust this bolt, put Loctite on here, and I'll be finished. So, very cool. Stick our cover back on here. Just like that. Okay, guys, there you go for the revolver 
shift lever from Zeta. This came from CRFs only. As I said, they have everything CRF. Check out the link in the description below. Click the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Right on.